Good evening, my friends. It's Sean Vig with SeanVigVisit.com. Enjoying, uh, enjoying a beautiful golden lager from Colorado native. Highly, highly recommended. Before we get to the official flow of my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes, I want to announce our winner number three of the free autograph copy of the book. It's Dan Safer. He filmed this in Cyprus, so somewhere on the screen. We'll put up his video. Excellent work, Dan. Going to you and your very charming wife will be an autographed copy of Power Yoga for Athletes, also available at seanvigfitness.com or wherever books are sold. All right, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. And now this is the official flow of the book. There's 25 total workouts in the book. This is the Power Yoga for Athletes flow. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you comment below what moves you like, where you did it. Do you do yoga in weird spots? And do you enjoy having a nice beer after a workout? Ah, let's get to the mat. Gotta get these pebbles off my feet. All right, cap on. In the book, I specify, you know, how long you want to hold these poses and these flows. We're just going to wing it this time because the power is in your hands ultimately. In your hands, in your hands, in your feet, in your yoga mat. So whatever you want to do with these. So I'll be your guide on this. If you want to hold some of these poses longer, go ahead. But if not, Fulgenzi, uh... Fulgenzi mm. Mubita. All right, follow me. Let's start mountain pose. Take the arms down to the side, shoulders back. Mountain pose might not seem like a lot, but it's a great way to get your posture where it needs to be and do this with your hands. Tuck your chin a little bit, shoulders back, chest open as you exhale. <sighs> Squeeze those abs. You want to pull that belly button in. A great way to really activate the core, get the energy flowing from here. Toes are loose, and then you want to dig those toes into the mat. I say shoulders back, fingers down, and always think of holding an orange between your chin and your chest, a Florida orange, because I lived there for so long. Keeps the back of the neck long, top of the head to the sky. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do this much exclamation, exclam, ex, explanation in every pose. Just this one, mountain pose. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side so we can start flowing here. We're gonna go from mountain pose into forward fold. Why don't you bend the knees a little bit, diving down. Again, this is taken right from the book, Power Yoga for Athletes, along with 24 other flows. Take a couple deep breaths here. Put the weight into the toes so you get a nice protection back here for your back. You have more space. <sighs> Always bend the knees. Keep those knees a little bit soft even as you're lengthening. <sighs> and then inhale. Let's go to flat back. Fingertips on the mat or fingers on the shins. Draw the shoulders back. We want to lengthen everything. We want to get everything moving. Improving your performance in every sport. Every sport and every activity. All right, from flat back, come to plank. Gonna to try to do this word for word right from the book. From this brain right here, plank position, hands are on the shoulders, elbows in. Draw the shoulders back, press the heels back, modify as needed with the knees down. Something's biting me. Take two more breaths. As you exhale, squeeze those abs. This is a great workout to do on its own or do it before your regular workout. See, the thing about these is they will enhance everything you do. So you can't lose with them. All right, press forward through the toes, hover. Elbows into the sides, drop the knees if you need to, lead with the chest. Everything pulling in tight, tight, connecting, transitioning. The best of your ability, then all the way down, tops of the feet on the mat, and upward facing dog. Press up if you need to modify, let the knees come down. You wanna draw the shoulders back, open the chest, squeeze the glutes, and howl at the pine trees. Here we are. Lots of breath. Tops of the feet on the mat, always lengthening back. And let's go into side plank. So come up, take your hand down and open. You can stagger the, let me get over here, stagger your legs or stack. You can even lift this leg up right here. Let's take five breaths. Let's really dig into that. My nose is whistling. By the way, in your breathing, classic yoga breathing is in the nose and out the nose, breathing into these deep abdominals. You have an obstruction, just make sure you're breathing. Add the mouth. All right, come to the other side. Find your side plank. Take your eyes up to the top hand if you're able. Right, slow and delivery. As I said, we're going to vary, vary the duration of these poses. And once you get the book, that's up to you. You can, you can go at your own speed. So come back to plank and press forward, hover. Hover all the way down and come to Superman. Arms forward. In. Get that out of the way. Lift up. Take five deep breaths here as you inhale. Lift. 
exhale, stretch. Every muscle on the back side of your body working. Miss Tessmacher. One more breath. Lift. Ooh, that's good stuff. All right, come to downward facing dog. Press up and back. We're gonna do a flow on one side, then we'll repeat it on the other. So as you exhale, lengthen the arms. Sink the heels down, neck is loose. Open the fingers wide. As your tailbone's always lifting up to the sky. Whew. All right, three-legged dog, bring the left leg up. One more breath, lift a little higher with the inhale. As you exhale, sweep it forward, crescent lunge, right angle in the left leg, arms come up. Press that right heel towards the mat. Shoulders down, one more breath, reach back. Oh, that's good stuff, work the balance and then pivot that back foot out. Warrior two, take the arms out. Shoulders right above the hips, look off your left hand. One more breath. Now flip that left hand up, reach and reverse warrior. Good, big stretch all the way down the sides. Great for athletes. As I say, any sport, any activity, any movement you ever do will be totally enhanced by these flows. Now, proud warrior, fingers down, right arm up. Shoulder is back. If you want a little more, you can take the arm to the lower back. You really wanna open up the chest, get that twist in there. And then warrior wrap, left arm underneath, around and wrap. My fingers are laced together, draw that shoulder back. Two breaths. So I'm looking at the note cards sometimes. I don't have them all memorized. That'd be crazy if I did. All right, release and reverse. Oh, so good. Purify. Purify that stretch. Sink down in that left leg a little bit more. Got a little surprise for you. Half moon balance. So put the weight into this left foot. Fingers can stay down. Arm up. That's a balance pose in its own. Or lift the hand off the mat. Keep lifting that right leg up. I'm not gonna do it, but you can look up to your right hand. <laughs> then from here, transition, revolving. So hand down, left arm up, or balance. This was fun in the photo shoot, I tell you. It takes a lot of work. Keep lifting that right leg. All right, now bring the hands down and the right leg comes up. Standing splits. If you want, you can take the hand on the calf or both, make it a balance pose. As you see, there's different options. Options are given in the book. <sighs> ah, very nice. Okay, now step it back, downward facing dog. Let's do that whole series on the other side. Walk the feet in. Take a couple moments here, really stretch out the spine, relax the neck. You feel that little curve in your lower back. <sighs> can you hear the thunder? I'm not just making an expression, there's like thunder behind the camera. <laughs> but here in Colorado, like in the in the Rockies here, they looks like it's gonna storm and it just goes right away. It's really strange. It's really neat how the weather patterns just change so quickly. All right, right leg up, three-legged dog. Another inhale, lift. And then into crescent lunge. Foot forward, transition. Body weight. Greatest gym you will ever have is right here, is in your body. You got all these tools at your disposal. Two more breaths. And then into warrior two, pivot the left foot out, arms out. Try to line up the heels the best you can. Shoulders are back, look off your right hand. Flip yourself off. Offend yourself. <laughs> yes. One more breath, sink down into that right leg a little more. And then reverse, right hand up and reach. Reverse warrior. Slide the left hand down a little more. And let's go to proud warrior, transition smoothly. Right hand down, get the control, get the balance. If you want more, take the arm to the lower back. Enjoy the butt. Stretch that left leg out, and then our beloved, well-loved, well-liked, beloved warrior wrap. Arm underneath, open. Do this one in the gym a lot. Check out one of my gym videos. 
where I smuggle the camera into my gym. I'll, I'll, I'll stop saying gym. Into the place I work out and film. Uh oh. And then back to reverse warrior. Right arm up, right hand up, and reach. All right. Are you ready for the revolve, or no, the half moon balance? So come on up, put the weight in the right foot, and we start here. You can stay here, my friend, or lift that hand off the mat. Work the balance. Improve performance. Little softness in that right knee. Got it, and then revolve. Left hand down, or if you can do it without lifting the hand, that's great. And the hand comes up, there we go. <laughs> Lift that left leg a little higher. Build the endurance. Again, you can hold these longer. You can just blow right through them if you want. Make sure you breathe into them, you have control, and you transition. Then standing splits, hands come down, and lift up. A lot of activity going on over here. If you like, take a hand to the calf. Really stretch it out. Nose towards the knee. One more breath. And let's step or jump back. Plank position. Okay. Hold it here. Five deep breaths. Elbows in. Pull the shoulders back. Pull the hands back. You want that fire to start in your core. Spread out. Work the whole body. Spread out. Press that mat away. From plank, we go to reverse plank. Bring those feet forward. Come back, hands under the shoulders, and lift up. You can point the fingers out if you want, or towards you, or back. Five breaths, shoulders back, lift, like there's a cactus underneath your butt. Woo. And one more breath. Beautiful. Slowly come down, extended boat. Grab as high as you can on the leg, or grab the feet and reach up. This is like a inverted, because I was inverted, bullshit, inverted downward facing dog. Took a while for me to say that, didn't it? Shoulders back. You want to lengthen the legs. They're going to shake. That's good. You're stretching the hamstrings, the calves, the glutes. You're working balance. You're working core strength and posture as you drop those shoulders down. And going from here into crow. Let's turn this down. Cross the legs, step back, just for a moment, feet come forward, catch your squat. If you don't, if you can't do the crow, take the hands here, open the hips with the elbows or hands down, open the fingers wide, the crow. Not the Tom Servo, the crow. Crow, lift the feet off the mat. Try not to fall forward, use control, lift those feet up, bring the toes together. Wonder Twin Powers activate right there. Little bend in the elbows, working the shoulders, working the bone density. One more breath. Oh, one more breath. My mouth and body aren't matched up. And then come back and extend a boat. Not that. We have balancing bear. Grab the outside legs or the feet and open up. Open up and say, oh, there we are. Shoulders are down. Huge hip stretch. Again, balance, core strength, focus. Open a little wider. It may look strange, I know, but... The benefits are amazing. They will affect everything else you do. Whatever you do on this mat, you take out into the world. So make it effective, make it concentrated, make it good. One more breath. All right, here's a pose you have probably never seen before. Even if you do yoga a lot, if you do my yoga workouts, other people's, I doubt if you've seen this. Huge ants running around here. This is the Eagle Boat. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left. Right arm forward, left arm underneath, here we are. There's those eagle arms, fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. <sighs> fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. If you want more, extend the legs out. Five breaths. It's good breathing, I hear you. All right, then switch sides. Left ankle over the right, and then right arm underneath the left. If you can't bring the hands together, by the way, make fists. Bring it right here. Fingers up, shoulders down. Elbows forward. Five breaths.
and two more. If you like this pose, make sure you like the video. Oh, okay. Balancing the cat. Let's come to a hands and knees position. Okay, hands and knees, fingers open wide. Right leg back, left arm forward. Press into that right arm. Parallel with the ground. Very underrated pose. It's that one you want to really dig into. Works balance, works the core, works your focus. You want to lengthen the fingers and toes away from each other. You're also working this arm right here, the bones and the muscles. Two more breaths. And then other side. There we are. Shoulders. And again, try not to keep the try not to bring the shoulders to the ears. Keep them back. You reach the fingers forward, you draw the shoulders back. As you exhale, squeeze those abdominals. One more breath. Dig into it. Snap into it. All right. Plank position, nose to knee, crunch. Plank. There's a whole plank chapter in the book, right? by the way. Bring that knee in, round the upper back. Crunch. Five breaths. Each time you exhale, squeeze the abs. Dig in, endurance, power, and then switch sides. Crunch those abs. Every muscle working. One more breath. Woo! All right. And then come on down to your back. Frozen scissors, almost there. We got just a little more core work to do. Right leg up, left leg out. Take the arms forward, hold it right here. Seven breaths, each exhale, nose towards the knee, lengthen the legs, especially that top leg. Good, squeeze those abs, squeeze them. Flatten them out, two more breaths. And then switch, lock it in. Lock and load, Jack. Here we go. Seven breaths. Lengthen this leg right here. Stretch that hamstring. Let him shake. Nose towards the knee. Two more breaths. Whew. And reach. Oh. And then bring it up. Whew. Downward facing dog. I believe my friends, there is over a hundred poses in this book. So there's a lot more where that came from. Let's bring it in. Sink those heels down. Take three more breaths, really lengthen. You can sway a little bit side to side. Loosen up the spine, stretch the hamstrings, the shoulders, the neck. Flexibility is youth. It is youth. Back to the days when you never thought about working out. You just ran and played all day long never never ran out of energy all right step the feet forward forward fold put the weight forward and walk the legs add a little twist the walking forward fold stretches all the way up into your back muscles into your lats even twist it out i always teach this in the beginning of my power yoga classes great way to get the blood flowing energy going and the mind focused. Okay, rising up. We will end where we began. I might be off the screen. Don't worry, I'm still here. You can see my feet, I look like Gulliver. Back into mountain pose, shoulders back, ready for anything. You're in the same position, but you're, it's so different than when you began. You can repeat this exercise, this workout again, or just go on to your other workouts. All right, and again, this is taken from my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press, available wherever books are sold. Take a photo with the book. Uh, tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those sites. Over 100, over 100 poses, 25 flows, training logs for every sport, total on-the-go training manual for everybody. I made it for all levels, men and women. So check that out and uh, get the free app that I have at SeanVFitness.com for Apple and Android. Subscribe, like, comment below. Where do you do yoga? If it's weird, I really want to hear about it. So make it weird, but make it honest. Honest but weird. Got a flex in there. <laughs>
and keep checking back share it tag it and i appreciate that i will see you real soon and uh, always remember put sunscreen on if you're going to be out here this is a fancy sunscreen so it's making me extra white extra white how about that jeez jeez